Hello Soul Family. This is my new daily offering, tapping into the messages and energies from various symbols and sources, as always with my messages, guided by the High Council comprised of Archangels, Gaia and other Ascended Planetary representatives from other star systems, Ascended Masters, Galactics, Fae, Animal Spirits, and the Dragons. Today is February 3rd, 2021 Your Daily Spiritual Guidance. Today we have Sign, Libra, Scorpio Element, Air, Water Symbol Ganesha The number 10 Crystal, Amazonite Tarot Card 3, The Empress February 3, 2021 Overview This third day of the month, our second day into the February Stargate is about creation. When we consider creation, we need to think of that as new slash change. Both Ganesha and the Empress are great symbols of creation. The number 10 is also about creation. Both Libra and the Empress are ruled by Venus, and Venus is also about being creative, letting creation energies flow and the balance that being creative and creational gives us. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto is the planet of transformation and regeneration again we have both the energies of new slash change. I was guided to the crystal, Amazonite. It's one of my favorites, and it's excellent for manifestation, and positivity both are connected to new and allowing for change. Today's energies Libra, Scorpio, Air, Water, Ganesha, Number 10, Amazonite and 3 The Empress Card. Astrology of Today Wednesday February 3, 2021. Today's Moon. The Moon is in Libra until 9.14 a.m. EST, after which the Moon is in Scorpio. A Void Moon occurs today from 1.15 a.m. to 9.14 a.m. The Moon is waning and in its waning gibbous phase. The Full Moon occurred on the 28th in the sign of Leo, and the Third Quarter Moon will occur tomorrow. Retrogrades. Mercury is retrograde Mercury is retrograde from January 30th to February 20th. Moon in Libra Libra is a cardinal air sign. Day 2 of the Moon in Libra for the morning, and with our powerful forces of creation and change from Ganesha and the Empress, we have this cardinal sign of Libra ending its time with the Moon in the early morning hours. Cardinal signs are known for bringing in change, and being creational. Thinking about Ganesha, the Empress, Mother Nature, Gaia, and the balancing energy Libra, makes me think of seeing three best friends working on ideas for things they want to create, but when they all come together, they are able to sort through their many interests and prioritize what needs to be created. They all have a hand in the project and work together perfectly. Moon in Scorpio Scorpio is a fixed water sign. Today we begin a two-day cycle of the Moon in Scorpio. This assertive, passionate and take-charge sign is perfect to blend with the incoming creational energies for the day. The energy of the Empress and Venus is making its impression upon us with the theme of self-love, self-care and in general getting centered. Tending to our thoughts and emotions, and what is coming up for us is critical at this time. We need to slow down the pace and carefully examine what is coming up for us emotionally. As stated in yesterday's guidance report, we are going into a time of reflection of past negative experiences so that we may tend to those wounds and release the negative charges that have been trapped in the body. To do this effectively, when things come up for us to remember and examine, it is up to us to raise our perspective and see things from a higher point of view so that we may see the lesson in the experience and how we had a part to play in it. This isn't to set blame in any direction, but merely to own our energy and then decide to cut the cords to the experience, take whatever wisdom you find and release the rest. Gan E S H A. When I tap into Ganesha, I feel a very peaceful and warm energy. Patient loving and very kind, Ganesha is all about lovingly guiding those of us who seek his help. He reminds us that we tend to fear things and create obstacles and stress for ourselves that do not need to be part of our world. Our fears can lead us into any direction if we let them, and that's usually what obstacles are about fear. 
so he's coming in at this time to not only help us clear blocks that we imposed on ourselves out of fear of the unknown, almost always, and to help us to delete the programs that trigger the fears in the first place. Ganesha speaks. Dear one. Thank you for being guided to hear these messages, and spend time with us. It's important for you to understand that at this time and throughout the Stargate, incoming light codes for DNA activations and timeline codes are being sent be integrated by the Nines, the Light Body Collective. Being tuned into to receiving these messages is proof that you have already cleared many blocks, thought forms and programs. If you accept my help, I am here to assist you untangle the knots that are held deep within you, ones that have been deep wounds and even some that are seemingly insignificant. Whether large or small charges of negative energy, does not matter at all impedes the flow of light in and out of your being and awareness, as well as your rising in consciousness to one degree or another. The Stargate energies help you to identify charges, and I help you to let them go so they no longer can be a party to blocking you in any way. You will still have these experiences, and remember them, but the negative charge will be lifted, if you so choose. The more free you are of negative charges allows you to step further into your creational soul self, to express your life and soul purpose for this incarnation and gives room to the higher vibrational energies to make their way to you, to help motivate and inspire you to create. New beginnings on several levels is on the horizon for you and your incarnate divine counterparts. Inspiration for change and how to make it happen is on the way. Your dedication to yourself to clear your field and body of energies that do not belong, and your continued deeper and clearer connections with myself, and those like me will serve to take you on the high vibrational timelines and paths and through the doors of your future easily and without delay. Know that the worst of your blocks is now being dealt with, if you choose to allow for yourself to release fears and doubts and truly step into your faith. Working together means you asking for help and allowing us to guide you to a higher place of existence. Pain physical or emotional does not have to be a part of your life. Your daily meditations and living a clean and positive life every day will continue to motivate you to feel the love that is within you. Your soul is love. Sending your love and kindness to those you are in contact with and even those that you do not know, to the general collective through your intention through working with Gaia, will help to heal you and your brothers and sisters of the light. Lastly, I leave you with a warm embrace, if you accept. Please close your eyes and picture me, as you have known me for a very long time, as a long time friend offering you warm through any cold you may feel. I give you a beloved cloak made of pure love to wrap around you. See my image upon it, on the back, feel the warmth this gives you. Let this cloak absorb the negative energies that are rising. Let me help pull them away, and leave you soothed and feeling the deep love I have for you. I leave this cloak with you, please work with it, and call upon me whenever you wish. I love you. Tilda Ganesha The number 10 10 is very powerful, comprised of 1 plus 0. 1 is about progress, new beginnings and of course, change. Not only change happening around you, but the zero represents change on the inside, getting closer and more connected with your spiritual and psychic side and your higher self, your soul. Faith in the future, creating our realities and working with our divine counterparts, specifically our angelics is what the number 10 is showing me for today. We're entering a time of hibernation of manifestations where things will slow down for a time when it comes to seeing things transpire. It won't be long, but for a couple of weeks we need to practice patience and not let ourselves get discouraged if things don't seem to move as quickly as we might like. With all of the incoming codes and lifting of energies like Ganesha talked about, it's not time to put ideas into action not quite yet. The energies of the Hermit are still very active and will be throughout the Stargate. However, 10 is about change and new beginnings, so that is coming just give it a bit more time to come into the physical. At the same time, 10 wants you to plan. Now is the time of contemplation, and introspection. Sorting out the viable. 
prioritize your forward movement when it is time to do so. The horse, our animal spirit that came through yesterday that is so powerful and strong and nearly always signifies strength and forward movement as well, similarly had the message of needing to tap into how horses can be very chill, not needing to run in any direction, but just be go inward and work things out on the psychic plane before putting energy into the physical plane. One of my personal favorites, the color of this crystal is so beautiful and soothing. It's the heart chakra crystal of hope, positivity, patience and manifestations. Creation. Clearing the blocks and obstacles, like Ganesha, Amazonite helps you to overcome challenges real or imagined so that you may step into your power to create and love without fear. If you're going through a time where you're feeling stuck or unmotivated, like things aren't happening or working out the way you thought or wanted, this crystal will set you into balance. It helps you to release fears and doubts and to truly step into your faith, it evokes feelings of unconditional love and is one that really connects you with water and those healing properties. For those of you who are particularly connected to Gaia, this is a fantastic crystal for connect and grounding with her. If you don't have any Amazonite, get some ASAP. eBay is an excellent place to buy crystals raw or polished. Just having Amazonite near you feels amazing, I look at mine all the time, and need more, but once you hold it and spend a few minutes connecting you will feel a real sense of peace and calm, like floating in water. To feel the vibrations without this amazing crystal at your disposal. Just focus on one of the photos, or do a search for a photo that you can really connect to. Feel free to use a different crystal to hold while you do this, whichever one that you are guided to. Concentrate on the crystal in the photo and the frequency of it, how it might feel. FYI, Amazonite is a relatively light crystal with smooth or jagged edges and it sparkles and shines similarly to how Turamillion does. Picture yourself sitting on the ground under the sun with a bunch of pieces of amazonite around you. Allow yourself to explore each of the crystals as they come to you. Find one that you really resonate with and connect to it. Ask it to find you, that you are ready for it and then bury it in the earth and thank your guides and guardians for bringing it to you in the future, thank Gaia for this amazing gift. You can do this with any crystal you want to come home to you. I have a service called Crystal Gathering with Gaia where I go to my local crystal shop and connect with Gaia to find the perfect crystals for you. See my website for details. The Crowley Tote Tarot. 3. The Empress. I see the Empress coming through as in the in-between, the transitional phase of creation, of birth. She is pregnant and waiting. The Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Truly all of creation passes through the Empress. She is the supernal female energy, she who gives birth to everything, including the sun and the earth, and then is the earth, Gaia birthing everything with the energy of the sun. The sun energy coming through with the Empress slash Earth slash Gaia, not surprisingly as we are in a stargate, the sun being our star and how our stargate light codes and timeline codes passes through. We are being reminded of the process of birth of being created in our mother's womb. It's a long and solitary process for most of us, and once born we are at the mercy of our mothers and fathers for everything. The Empress is coming through to ask us to go back there, to a womb state energetically. Gaia the Empress speaks. I come to you now to ask you to surrender to the process of rebirth. This place in time you are in may not seem magical or special, but trust me dear one. It most certainly is. You are the thing that is becoming new, you are the thing that is being recreated. The messages that have come through over these last few days is to explain the process of regeneration. One can be reborn, not only in new lives and the many you have lived and the ones I have birthed you upon my lands, and felt you within my waters. I am speaking of the rebirth in the same life. The true meaning of being born again is to surrender to the process of the dying of the old self. On a grand scale for humanity, there is a process in motion that is about allowing the death of the old to allow the new to be born. The process has been in play for a long time, 
and it was officially activated in the physical in the form of the pandemic. The collective has been preoccupied with how and where and why this has begun. There are those that know the truth of it, but please understand that it is part of this great re equals birth and reset that humanity is going through at this time. We have a gathering of family now. Seven of us the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn meet in Aquarius now, this is known as the Great Aquarius Stellium. Think of these beings as your family, gathered together, finally in Aquarius to witness the rebirth of humanity. This is no coincidence, as the energies they send help you to be birthed, it helps me to help push you through, while soothing you and keeping you safe in my womb until the time is right. This is a time to work on your connections with your immediate guides and guardians. Let them prepare you for the new world you will be birthed into by going into meditation and contemplation. Review and inventory your current and past positions. Our Mercury is helping you to uncover old patterns, feelings of hurt on the side of the Divine Feminine, and working to release these pains. It's important to take this time to connect to three points of time, the last six months, now and the next six months through the Lion's Gate. Do inventory on the last six months and what negative charges that stick out to you now. What have you already let go of, and what needs to be released? Think about now. How does your body feel? Where is achy or painful? Correspond these physical feelings or symptoms with your energy centers and then work to connect with and to heal these chakras. I can work with you directly in many ways to assist you with this. How has your sleep been? Where has your energy and focus been? Do you feel you have been distracted or following your guidance and spiritual path? What aspects of your life feel right, and what needs adjustment? What are you in control of and what is in play that is a factor of time? Are you waiting on anyone else to take action? How much control do you have at this time? Asking these questions and others that we will be sending you through various ways will help you to avoid being triggered. It will help you to heal these aspects before they are brought to you in a way to challenge your progress. I leave you with a vision, think about your rebirth that is in the process now, remember you are in my womb, different than when you were birthed into this life, now you have control over your progress through the birth canal and how you process your new beginning. It is your choice to resist the process or to attempt to rush through it because you are uncomfortable, want to move forward, and don't recognize that the you're pushing slows everything down. It is your choice to accept that it is a process and allow for the natural flow to take over while you surrender. Surrendering can be an act of will and strength when it comes to the rebirth of the self, surrendering is the bravest thing that one can do, for as it is within the ego the personality and the self to reject the new world that it is headed to. You have been through so much already, seen too many things that are impossible to ignore, and your connections to yourself and your place in creation, your life and soul purpose have come into question and your ascension into who you were meant to become has been a process filled with doubts, fears and questioning of reality itself. Loss and pain is part of the rebirth on some or many levels. It can be a very challenging process, and most of you are still not connected to your soul groups and incarnates guides, which makes the process much easier. However, if you are not yet connected to others, please know that it is because there is more work for you to do on your own before joining with others who are in the same position. Until a particular point in time, when the outcome for connection is favorable for growth, the connection will not manifest. So please know. That if you are put in a position to heal and grow, have a guide then you have crossed that threshold. It is solely your decision on how to chose your path. This process can be fully embraced or rejected. One can decide to change course, by attempting to control the process, deciding that they are in control and do not need others or guidance, which is always false, each incarnate is meant to work with and help and be helped by each other. None of the nines have been put in place there to go through it without assistance in the physical. Another way to end the rebirth is by doubting it to the point of lowering your vibration, getting into fear about the unknown and outcomes, attempting to control the process with end the process. 
I share with you these very important points about your rebirth because I feel all of you and your various ways of managing through this process. I want each of you to reach your destiny, and I am your great mother and vow to be with you each and every step of the way, if you allow me to be. And rest assured, dear one that it is not just me who is helping to birth you anew. There are many of us working together to help you through this process. Those that are incarnate, and those who are not. I am both. I am your great mother, while I am not in a body like you, I am the body that birthed you, your mother, your mother's mother, and so on through all lives upon me. I am incarnate all around you. It is my water, air, fire and earth that hold you, love you, heal and nurture you. I connect you with each other and your guides and guardians, and all of us work together. This is a family, and a team effort. Each one of you is important as the next, and we all fight for your ascension, your remembrance of the truth of who you are and ultimately the evolution of all of us. Lovingly. Gaia. I'll never tire of channeling Gaia, I work with her frequently in the healings that I facilitate, she knows everything about us. Personally, it's quite amazing how she gets to the core of things on an individual basis. Her energy is so powerful and pure, so nurturing and true. Now she reminds me now of the recent traveling we all did together. In the full moon meditation I facilitated, we worked with timelines through the sun, the moon through the waters of Gaia. She asks you to take part in that meditation at this time if you have not already. Messages from our guides for February 3, 2021. Take time today to slow yourself down and allow for the assimilation of the process to register on all levels for you, without needing to know the ins and outs and the outcome. You are being recreated and as such you need to think about what you are creating in the world. You are created to create, the energy is surrounding you, and Gaia now come through the Stargate for manifestations. First manifesting yourself into the rebirth, and in that process creating energy into the world, through Gaia, with her elements and together through your guidance. Decide that nothing is impossible. Decide that you can create anything you are envisioning. Decide to step into your power and allow for the energy to surround you to inspire you, to motivate and invigorate your entire system. Decide to connect with Gaia, allow her to hold you heal you and send you through a new time of creation. Tilda your spirit guides. Meditation. Required, 963 HZ music, Amazonite, and or any other crystals you are guided to. This meditation can be done at any time of the day in the seated position, unless that is too uncomfortable for you. Center yourself and call your guides and guardians in. Hold your crystal to your belly. Imagine water flowing out of the crystal all around you, in a bubble, you are inside the bubble, and you can breathe the water. The world falls away as the water fills up the bubble. You are you, but like a baby in the womb. The outside world is far away, you have no worries or concerns, you are completely safe. Allow for the water, to soothe and heal you, taking away negative energies, Gaia absorbing these energies from your body as she sends messages and light through the water back to you. Send your soul song frequency through the water, to Gaia and feel her connecting you to her entire body, and to your brothers and sisters of the Light Body Collective, and then to all of humanity. Ask for their soul song frequency to reach you too, so that we all may continue to create the web of light upon Gaia, so that we may follow the lines of light to reuniting. Spend at least 15 minutes in this space. Come back to body slowly, before opening your eyes, thank and send love to your guides and guardians, and Gaia. Send love to yourself, your brothers and sisters of the light and the collective. If you resonate with the vibrations of these messages, please visit my website to download my four new and free ebooks. The Essential Empath Guide what is psychic attack and how to uh, eliminate negative energy? The spiritual war, the light, the dark, and your energy. The importance of cord cutting with guided astral meditation practice. One on one personal development. Did you know that I have a program for ascension, healing, 
spiritual connection and your soul evolution? It's called the Evolve Now program and I offer a free two-hour consultation evaluation with many energy healing, connecting to Gaia so you can experience what it's like to work with us. See my website for details. Thanks for receiving these messages for today, February 3rd, 2021. Please remember to subscribe to this podcast and channel. Please rate and review and leave your comments or reach out directly. Infinite love and blessings, don't forget the key is to create, and I love you already. Always and forever, infinity.